Prince of Body Park and our Sea Lion Theatre. My name's Vicky, I'm one of the Sea Lion trainers here in the park. The other human up on stage is called Amy, but we understand not a single one of you wants to meet any humans today. Do you all want to meet a sea lion? Yeah. That's the right answer. Hopefully we've got a few to introduce you to today. And the very first one that is going to join us is called Bounty. Bounty is 13 years old and he's the youngest sea lion we have here with us at the park. Now for Bounty's part of the show, what we are going to do with him is train him so he's in the water. He gets a little bit extra energy out that way because he's got a lot of it. All we do ask while Bounty is out is that you try to keep yourselves and your little ones back from the glass and in their seats. We don't want Bounty getting distracted. Like most children, it does not take much to distract Bounty and we don't want him getting confused during his training session. And the first thing we do have to do is make sure that everyone here is friends with Bounty. So we are going to ask him to wave hello to you. Your job is to give the sea lion a wave back. He can see you. We all want to be friends today. And it would make Bounty's little day if everyone got to say hello to him. Now hopefully today Bounty is going to help us out a little bit and try to answer some questions about him. The very first one we're going to answer sounds a little bit ridiculous but we are going to clear up what kind of animal you are looking at right now you're probably thinking don't patronize me vicky i know exactly what i'm looking at but i was standing on as you all came into the theater and there is at least 25 percent of our audience today bounty and i'm going to say the word that thinks you're a seal yeah now don't worry if you did think he was a seal we get that one every single day People have also thought he's a dolphin, a whale, an otter, a penguin, and most impressively, someone, an adult, thought that animal in the water was a seagull. Now, if you think he's a seagull, I can't help you, you're beyond my level. But we're going to show you the differences between a seal and a sea lion today. The first one is the size of their flippers. If you're an adult out there, I'm going to get you to give us a hand. Pick one hand up in the air, wave it around like you just don't care, and then have a good look at the size of your adult hand. If you are with any boys and girls today, show them how big your hand is compared to theirs. And if you're not with kids, you have my blessing to shove your adult hand in another adult face. But that is about the size of a seal's flipper, which is really, really big, I'm sure. But Bounty's flipper is much, much larger. We just seen it a minute ago. It's about the length of my arm. And Bounty can do some impressive stuff with those flippers. He can swim at speeds of up to 25 miles an hour in the water. Whereas a seal can only really go about eight miles an hour. And there's only really two reasons why a sea lion would be going that fast, just like us. If we were running at full speed all the time, we'd be knackered. The first reason is they're hungry. They're trying to catch a fish. Or number two, a shark is hungry and bounty is the dinner. It's scary, right? Now there's a couple of ways a sea lion could escape a shark. They could get up onto land. Or what they can do is jump out of the water. They can jump over three meters out of the water. And because sharks can't do this, it's quite confusing to them. But if he hits the other one, give him a massive cheer. Very nicely done. So that's the first difference. The second one's not quite as obvious, but all you might see of a seal or a sea lion is their head poking out of the water. What you're looking for is if they've got ears that stick out or not. Bounty is a sea lion, so either side of his head, he has got teeny tiny sticky out ears. From the front, I do think he looks a little bit like Shrek, but if you see those ears, it is a sea lion. Seals do have ears as well, but all you can see from the outside is a tiny hole on either side of their head. Both seals and sea lions all have excellent hearing, both above and below the water. So Bounty did some beautiful pirouettes there, so we're all going to give him a cheer so he can hear us. There we go. Now the final difference between a seal and a sea lion is actually how they move on land. Seals aren't particularly mobile on land and it's because they can't rotate their hip. Now that means they cannot walk on all fours. So they've got those tiny front flippers. They can't use their back flippers to move around on land. So Bounty's going to show you what he thinks a seal looks like when it's moving. Like a big fat slug. There we go. Now Bounty can move like this, but it's not the quickest way to get to A to B. He is a sea lion, so his hip joint rotates. He can tuck all four of his flippers underneath his body, and on land he can run, he can jump, 
and he's also pretty good at climbing. Problem is, when you climb up high, there's only one way to get back in. So, on the count of three, we are all going to give him a cheer and he will jump in. Are you ready? One, two, three! Graceful as ever. Now we are going to enter the pop quiz segment of our show. I hope you've been revising. I'm going to ask you one question and one question only. What kind of animal is Fenty? He's happy. You've made the boy very, very happy. Now, Fenty, you've done a brilliant job helping us out. So we're going to let you go off and have a bit of a rest because we've got lots more sea lions to introduce everyone to. But give Fenty one last cheer to say well done. Now, Bounty there has had quite an impressive 24 hours. He actually met Peter Andre yesterday and sang Mysterious Girl with him. If you go on his Facebook, Instagram, it is there. Honestly, it's the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Bounty now thinks he's famous, he's getting a bit of a complex, and he thinks that we should give him more fish as a reward for that. Now, Bounty on a daily basis at the minute gets through about 6 kilograms of fish every single day. That's a mix of sprat, herring and mackerel. Typically, for a sea lion in the wild, they would eat quite a lot of things like squid. Now, we've tried giving Bounty squid, but as a celebrity, he thinks that's disgusting and he wants us to stick to fish. So we will give the boy exactly what he wants. Now, Bounty is one of three sea lions that live here with us at the park, and all of them have their own little personalities. Bounty's like the toddler. He's got endless amounts of energy. He never sits still. And now we're moving to our oldest sea lion by the name of Callum. Callum is the sea lion equivalent of Beyonce. Callum, you're a superstar, aren't you? Yeah. Now, Callum does think the only reason people come to the safari park is to see him, so make him happy. Give him a wave. He'll give you a wave back. There he goes. Now, obviously, it's all fun and games with all of our sea lion training. Like I said, Bounty got to do his ultimate duet yesterday. But people tend to assume that the reason our sea lions are trained is so they will perform. And we love having you all here. We are very lonely humans. But we train the sea lions every single day of the year, whether you guys are here or not. And the main reason we actually do it is to make sure they're healthy. Although Callum looks incredibly cute and cuddly, he's Amy's best friend in the entire world. She's not got many human ones. So, <laughs> I'm joking, she's my boss, I'll be nice. But we want to actually make sure Callum's healthy and we want it to be on his terms. We just want to ask him for all of his health checks. So every day, we check him over from head to toe. So you're going to see Amy running through some of his health checks. We can look at his eyes, inside his mouth. We check all of his flippers over. And even things you don't entirely realise in a show can be health checks are as well. Things like Callum spinning round. Frankly, it looks like he's auditioning for Strictly. But it's actually how you look for cuts or scratches on a sea lion's body. Now, we can put our hands on Callum. That's very, very easy. He does like a tickle. But the problem is... If he did have something sore, he's probably not going to want us doing this. Now, the thing is, if there was something that was bothering him, we are going to have to call down the most hated person in the safari park by the animals. Callum would have to call the vet down. I know, I know. Now, she is lovely, and Callum actually does get on with her fairly well, but we wouldn't have Callum sitting on his stand like this when the vet got here. We would have him in a position called a lie-out, where he lies nice and flat on the ground like a big fat sausage. Now, it doesn't look like much. Are you ready? Here it is. Ta-da. <laughs> now, this is actually the most important thing Callum is trained how to do. He will lie here nice and flat and still, let us and the vets check him over. And if there was something wrong, we're in the process of training him to accept injections and blood withdrawals, so we'd be able to do any kind of diagnostics on him. Thankfully, though, Callum, you're gorgeous. You're perfectly healthy. Give yourself a cheer for your health checks. You did good. Now, the thing is, checking a sea lion's healthy, although it's probably quite complex in theory, the sea lions do make that quite easy. The hard part is keeping them healthy, because much like myself, they'd rather nap and eat. They don't want to be doing too much exercise. So we like to make exercise fun by playing games with our sea lions. And Amy, you've been at the safari park 15 years, right? And you love playing games with Callum. You're not playing games with him today because I've got someone way more special in the audience that is going to help us out. So I am looking for a bit of help from Richard. If you're Richard, do you want to stand up, give us a wave, do a funny dance? He's going, is that me? Aye, it's you, pal. Everyone make some noise for him. There we go. Come over and see me. 
with just a little bit of a surprise for you. Yeah, that's good. We like surprises. We don't want you to feel embarrassed or anything like that at all. Now, we are going to go through this gate over here, and then I'm just going to grab you some rubber gloves because your friends and family will not love you if you go home smelling like I do. So if you pop those on your hands, I'm giving you a third one. You've not got three, do you? Now, is this a special treat for a birthday, something like that? Oh, he's 21 today. <laughs> That's a very special birthday. Anything else? You had a cake, a party, anything like that? Cake later. I will be expecting my piece of the post, yeah? Now, as we walk onto the stage, I am going to hold your hand, okay? I do not want you falling into the water until the sea lion is ready to push you in. So, if you take hold of my hand, and as we make our way on, everyone will give you a big cheer. Here he is. Now, have you ever met a sea lion before? No. Now, hopefully, you and Callum are going to be the best of friends. We do, however, have to check, okay? So you are going to give him a wave, and if he waves back, you're friends. If he doesn't, I'd run. So are you ready? Give him a wave. Oh, we're all good today, best friends. Now, Callum does have a favourite game that he likes to play, and it is basketball. Now, I'd imagine you've heard of human basketball, but have you ever played sea lion basketball in your free time? No. Now, I will explain the rules. So if you hold the ball as high as you can for me, this is going to work well. Now, on the count of three, you are going to run towards the end of the beach, then I'm going to need you to jump in, but keep the ball as high as you can. Callum's going to come in, he'll jump over you and bring the ball back. And when you're done, those are the ladders you are going to swim towards, okay? Your friends and family know they've brought a spare change of clothes, haven't you guys? Yeah? Yeah. You up for it? Yeah. I tell you what, we all like a bit of peer pressure. Do you all want to see him jump in? Yeah. How else are we going to get the ball in the water? We could throw it, Amy. We've been putting on our bikini for years. <laughs> tell you what, that's probably a good idea. Callum does poo in that water. So tell you what, keep your feet glued to the ground, but give the ball a big throw anywhere you like for me. Nicely done. And we'll let Callum do the hard work. So he's going to have a little dribble. And when he brings the ball back, one of us has got to catch it. Are you ready? Here we go. Give them all a cheer. Well done. Teamwork makes the dream work right there. <laughs> Now, because Callum did some good dribbling, we are going to give him a few fish to say well done. But frankly, your throw was brilliant. It was a great idea. We're going to use that one in the future. So I think you deserve a birthday treat as well. So if you open up your mouth, Amy will pop the fish in. <laughs> he thinks it's a joke. <laughs> oh, tell you what, will we make a deal? Shake my hand. You just have to lick it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Callum would definitely like the fish more than you. So if you take it, give it a big throw up to him and it will vanish. Now, because it is your birthday, I'm going to ask you a very personal question. Have you had a birthday kiss yet? No, Amy, no. Now, I tell you what, Callum does like to give his friends kisses. He looks like a gent, though. So he does like to do little kisses on the hand. So if you watch, you make a little fist. Hold it up to his nose and he'll gently blow bogeys up your arm. It's magical. So if you swap places with Amy, hold your hand up. And everyone goes, oh, that is a snog. <laughs> He's practically dating now. Now, the last thing I'm going to get you to do is turn and face your adoring fans in the audience. You're going to take a bow and they are going to go crazy. Very nicely done. Now, I'm going to take your hand one last time as we walk off because we're joking about Callum pushing you in but Amy might actually push you in. Now, I have been told, even though we shouldn't have got any fish on us, we are just going to wash our hands when we come through here just to be safe. So if you take your gloves off, just pop them on the floor and I can wash them up later. And if you stick your hands under here and give it a really good rub together, your friends and family might accept you back sitting next to them once again. And as you make your way back to your seat, everyone will give you a big cheer. Thank you so much for your help. Now, Callum, we're going to play one last game with you today, and it is a little bit of a game of catch. Now, this actually works out the whiskers Callum has on his face. He has got 76 of them in total, and typically a sea lion would use these for hunting out in the wild. So you can feel the vibrations given off and hopefully catch fish. So we're going to see if you can catch these five rings. However, we are going to need a bit of help from all of you. Amy and I are both northern. We never learned to count that high. I only know haggis. So get this, everyone. You're going to do the counting for us. Your enthusiasm is, is, is appreciated. They weren't ready for their line. Now tell you what, they've got five rings to make it up to us. I'm going to give you a clue. The first one is number one. All you've got to do is shout it with enthusiasm. Are you ready with ring? No. Wow. 
Now they weren't bad, I'll give them that. But I think there were a few adults out there. They got shy. Bless your heart. Don't be shy, this is fun. Are you ready with ring number two? You had a tough day, Amy. That sounded like you were really going for it there. Now, Callum, you've done a brilliant job helping us out, so we're going to let you go off and have a rest as well. But everyone, give Callum one last cheer to say well done. <laughs> now, we do have one final sea lion to quickly introduce you all to, and we've left him to the end because, frankly, he is the laziest of the three, and if the show is going to go wrong, it's going to be here. His name is Jack. Jack is 14 years old. You're not meant to have favourite sea lions. I love Jack with all my heart because he's an actual nightmare to work with. He never does anything you ask. He always blows bogeys in your face. But I like an animal that knows his own mind and there's no one on this planet that knows their own mind more than Jack. When he's on the ball though, he is the most intelligent animal I've ever had the privilege of working with. It's why he's so naughty. He knows exactly how training works. He knows how to manipulate you. And when we have a new trainer starting, Jack is the one we all watch out for. Us, that all being said, he's a real nice guy. If you all give Jack a little wave to say hello, he'll try his hardest to give you a wave back. For those of you with good eyesight, you will have noticed that Jack has emerged out here not ready for the show because he is in fact covered in his own drool. You should be embarrassed coming out here like that. Now Jack, I'm going to give you the opportunity to wash your face now. People have got cameras. You are not Instagram ready with a face like that. That is an awful lot of bogeys you have got running down your face. What on earth have you been up to? Wash your face off. Thank you. There we go. Nice and clean. <laughs> now, with Jack, because he is so smart, training is a pleasure when he's in the right mood. We're going to try our best to teach you how to train a sea lion. Now, if you've got pets at home, you might try this on your cats, your dogs. If you've got children, you can adapt this to work for them. If your partner doesn't listen to you, good luck. We can't help you with that one. But the first thing you've got to do is figure out what your animal likes. We've got a sea lion. Can anyone guess what a sea lion likes? No one said chicken nuggets. We're on to a winner. So fish is Jack's favourite thing in the entire world. And the first thing we introduce him to is the whistle Amy's got in her mouth. We blow on it and give Jack a fish. The whistle is our way of saying good. If you've heard of clicker training, you can use a clicker as well, or you can just say the word good. We use the whistle because it's hands-free and Jack can hear it underwater as well. The next thing we're gonna introduce looks like Amy's been lugging around a giant lollipop. She's not hungry, she's not gonna do a little song for us all. This is called a target stick. And all we want our sea lions to do is touch it to their nose. Now the very first time they get curious enough to touch it, we blow on the whistle, give them lots of fish as a reward, and they very quickly figure out that by following that target around, they get lots and lots of their favorite things, and it's not really that tricky to do. So we start moving the target a little bit further in lots of different ways, different shapes. Hello, Jack. And it means that we are gradually shaping different behaviors. About 90% of the stuff you've seen today was trained using a target, just in lots and lots of tiny steps. Problem is though, eventually Jack is going to understand what we're trying to train and then we want to take the target away. He is a smart guy. We want him focusing on us, using his brain and not just focusing on a lollipop. So we put everything on something called a cue instead. So a little bit like sign language, we use our hands, we use our bodies to talk to the sea lions. You'll see Amy moving her hands around in all kinds of ways and that is her talking to Jack. It also gives him the choice if he wants to join in he will do as is being asked. If he doesn't want to join in, if he can't be bothered, Jack will just completely ignore us. Now, nothing bad happens if they ever are naughty. Frankly, it's usually quite funny. We just ignore anything bad and move on, keep things nice and positive. So Jack gets his whole pot of fish, whether he behaves or not. Now, the thing is, we can train all kinds of things with this. And I think one that's went wrong a few times over the last few days, Amy, involves this hula hoop. So the cue to get Jack to jump through the middle of it is raising the hoop above the water. Now Jack can do this. The entire time I've worked here, Jack has been able to do this. But recently, he's been jumping out ever so slightly more to this side, which means Amy's got to think fast or she's going for a swim. Give them a cheer, no one fell in. 
Now, Jack does need to do a little bit of exercise in his day-to-day -day life, so we can train all kinds of different things. One thing Jack is really, really good at is showing off his flexibility. They don't have collarbones like you or I, sea lions, which means they are incredibly flexible. And during the first lockdown, he learned to do something that looks a little bit like a backflip. So we're going to give it a go today. If Jack manages, give him a massive cheer. Here he goes. Oh. Now this does bring us to the end of our Sea Lion show today. If you do have any questions at all about anything you've saw or Sea Lions, Amy and I will be at the side of the stage in a few moments time. But thank you all so, so much for coming along and helping us out and enjoy the rest of your day at the Safari Park. Bye everyone.